Hey folks, how you doing? Back behind us is our Honda 2014 on TRX 500 FM1. Um, manual start, I mean, excuse me, manual shift, um, 500, no power steering, just plain Jane, four wheeler. We've seen in my other videos. I have a recoil start on it, in case the battery goes dead, but sometimes it might not be enough. So what I'm gonna do is, I already got a trickle charger on there. Um, I'll show you that too. I got a uh, battery maintainer, I got a battery tender, Charger Plus. I'll show you the model number and all that stuff and show you how I installed it. But what we're gonna do here, we're gonna put a power pole connector, a 30 amp power pole connector, 12, 12 gauge strip wire group of 30 amps. So if you're dead in the woods and you have a little Schumacher or Noco or a little jump start, you can get your battery up and going without taking the seat off. And if you're like me, you got a uh, uh, pouch on the back of it, I mean, uh, you know, your, your saddle straps, I mean, bag and all that stuff. You ain't got to take all that stuff off because it's, it's a, if you're in the woods and you want to get home, you don't want to sit there fiddle fiddle faddle around trying to get a cover off and everything to get to your battery. So I'm going to show you an easy way, a simple way to do it. And that way you can just plug into your um, power port connector, your power, power pole connector, plug it in, and put your jump start on the end of your terminals. You can crank it up and get yourself on home. Or you, if you have to, you can uh, plug that in and help jump start your buddy's uh, ATV if he didn't have a, a jump start. But just a little something, something I'm going to share with y'all. So yeah, um, watch with me and check it out. All right. Okay, y'all, we got our, uh, our bag, our compartment bag, rack, our rack bag. We got that um, on the hook. So I took some of the weight out of it. So now we're going to move this bad boy out of the way. Got a little weight to it. Okay, now we got our everything we need we can get to. Got to take the seat off first. Got to take the seat off. Then your battery part comes off. All right. So we'll get to that. Okay, as you see right here. This is our connector for our um, battery tender uh, plus. All right, it's right here. I'll zoom in there for you. Clean connections hides underneath your battery bag, and I uh, zip tied it. Use an electrical tie up inside there, but there she is right there. So. And that's your male or female and they both inter interconnect and right here see it's nice head and it's got a cap, protective cap on it so in the winter time or let's say you got coat two or three some up this will help keep your battery charged and maintained good thing to have and this is folds up nicely out of the way and here's the battery tender plus Yep, battery tender plus. Right here. It's a nice, nice battery tender. Kind of does it all. Pretty big in size, too. It's not your little tiny deals, but it's got some. It's a pretty hefty design. But it puts out 1.25 amps. I got it from Motorsport. Dot com and it comes with alligator clips or male female connect or quick connect it comes with both and it's good for snowmobiles uh shoot um snowmobiles um your, your jet skis or wet bikes that kind of stuff that's good for all that stuff any, anything um, any kind of battery really. They're, and it's automatic. 
so I won't hurt your battery. All right. Okay. We're going next up. Right here is our power pole connector. I got a 10 foot, 10 foot length from West Mountain Radio. Uh, they sell a lot of ham radio stuff. I could have made my own, but I'm like, dang, time I buy the parts and this and that and the zip cable, I bought a 10 foot section where I can just cut right in half and use it um, to what I need. All right. Anyway, there you go. That's my phone. But anyway, extension cable. Um, what I like about the power pole. Like I said, I'm going to hook this directly to the battery. No fuse or nothing, because when you're jumping, you do not want a fuse in there. That's just my, my preference. Um, but anyway, just pretty simple design. You just take the power pole connector like this, like so, red on red, black on black. And if you got this up in your four-wheeler, let me zoom this up a little better. In other words, like that. Bam, you're connected. You got power. You're ready to jump charge that puppy and get out of the woods. All right, we're going to make up a set. So you just pull apart, we're not in use. All right. We're going to take the battery. No, uh, seat off first. <clears throat> Make the seat, put this in a safe place. Alright. And the, this is, this just, you gotta unlatch the back right here. You have to unlatch the back first right here. This back, the back light or cargo area, storage area, unlatch that. And this right here just pops up. And it slips out the way. Woohoo! Yay! And yeah, there's your owner's manual and all that good stuff on even here. Tire pressure gauge. Everything's gonna need battery cover. Alright, so and we'll set this in a safe place and we'll be right back in a second. As you see right here, here's my battery tender or battery yeah, battery tender um, plus my cables are hooked up right there at black on the negative, then on the red, there's a fuse to positive in. And that goes straight up underneath of here. You got a void area right in there. And it fits right in there. I got zip tied. I'm sure where I have a zip tied. Right there. That's zip tied right there. Okay. But well, what we're going to do today is take that power port I just showed you. 30 amp on power pole. We're going to the negative and positive and then run out to the back of that um, waterproof compartment back there. All right, that's right now where you can just unlatch the uh, waterproof compartment and bam, you can get to it. All right. And I'll show you a different angle. For example, just run from the battery and you have a little bit of room in there. My winch um, relay and all that stuff is right in here, our bridge. Uh, dealer starts installed that way, so hey, it does the job. It's not you can't put much in that compartment anyway. Maybe a couple of pairs of gloves or whatever, but that's one reason I got a saddle bag. I mean, a rack bag. So that's what we're gonna do. And there's a little hole. I show you. There's a little. Okay, if you're, hole looking right the, here. If you're looking at the carpet, um, the compartment right here. There's a little hole right near the battery strap 
I just want to go up to it with it right through there. And if you can see my finger right there, you got right much room. So that's where I'm going to install it, right there. And just fold up nice and neat, up out of the way. And I'm going to put some shrink, some tubing, um, aeration or vacuum line underneath of there to keep my screws from falling down. So that's going to be a tricky one. But we'll see. All right, we'll be back here shortly. Okay, folks, we're going to go ahead and cut our, our terminal, I mean our lead, it's right, right in the middle of, you know, five, 10 foot, 5 and 5. There we go, got them cut. All right, then we got to take them in all, on both sets, we got we to gotta take the wire and... Let me turn some more light on in here. All right. And what we're going to do is take the take these right here. You can either tear them apart. It's tear them apart like that. I give you enough. But first of all, I'm going to run this up to the hole where I need where I need it. So, bear with me. Don't want to cut myself short. I know my big old head's probably in the way. And it probably been better to um, cut the, I mean, leave them. Need the zip wire attached before I split it. But, oh well, it's gonna work out. I hope. All right. Okay, we are in there. This is where we want our cable. Right through here. All right. Now we got room to put our connectors on and all that good stuff. Now we can either do it one or two ways, and I'll show you. You can either use a soldering terminal connection, which I mean my solder I mean excuse me, uninsulated ring. And these are 516 by 1210s. 516, 516 diameter hole. That would fit your ATV battery good. And 1210 is the gauge of wire going through here. Alright. Or you can use heat shrink, which is the same type of terminal except this right here you crimp it right here you need to take a heat gun or a lighter and that's where you would um um it would shrink down to your insulated uh wire and, you know give you a waterproof connection so we're going to do that okay folks yeah hey, uh, we're back we're going to uh, take and strip our wire a little bit right here No, ouch. We're down here. Whoop. Sorry about that. This is for our, where we can jump start our uh, ATV with the power pole, Anderson power pole connector. This is 12 gauge wire. And if I believe right. Okay, folks, we're good for 30 amps with this 12 gauge wire. Pretty short run. I got it about three foot long, running out of here into my battery box. Be right here. Uh, I don't want to leave it too long because I'm, I'm gonna have another connection right here. So we're using non-insulated terminals right here. 
and we're going to use heat shrink. All right. Okay, first of all, we've got to crimp our wires. I like to take about three eighths of an inch, 12 gauge, or a heavy quarter of an inch. But like, yay, but like that. Okay. Now we can take a little more off. Maybe a half inch, because we'll get heat shrink over top of it. Negative side, same old, same old. Just careful and cutting, not taking any strands off. You know, like that. Okay. What we want to do is spray that wire out a little bit. Okay. Taking, twist our ter terminals like that. We need to take a smidge more off of that. These catapult clines are awesome. Great tool. Okay. So there we got it right here. You want to make sure you got plenty of strip. Not too much, but. See, so just getting heat shrink over top of it. Good connection. All right. Let's see your heat shrink. Let me cut it a tad bit longer. Hang tight. I'm cut it off a good inch. So. Got my heat shrink right here. All right, that's what we want right there. All right, got that cut. <clears throat> okay, your clients. Compression tools, we're going to put the, the bottom in the crimp right here. It's going to go to the bottom of the uh, terminal. All right. We're going to slip her in there. Okay. I'd like say. So. And just squeeze. That'll be a good connection right there. Oh yeah, got a little dimple right back here. Dang. Yeah, yeah I hope y'all can see that. All right, let's go on to the next one. Yeah, this this is a good tool, great tool. You want the you want the bottom of the dimple to go in the bottom of this lug right here, the bottom. So go into the bottom right here. negative connection there we go let's 
good connection there, folks. Got a little bit of wire hanging out, that's what I want. That way you know you got a good they ain't coming off. Good professional crimp right there. These are the VDV 200-010 lines. Great tool to have. All right. Now we're going to take a heat shrink. All right, put them up on there. Get my gun. Got my Wagner hot air gun. All right. That's where we're going to put a heat shrink right there. You know, see it just shrinking on there. Like you can use a lighter or a little butane torch. This doesn't, this doesn't tend to burn the wire as bad. It gives it a good connection. All right, now we'll do our negative side. And this is for jumping. If you, you know, like I say, you're in the woods, wherever you're at, or you can jump somebody else with your four wheeler without lifting and taking the seat off and all that stuff. Or you got, if you got a rack bags on there, like I do. And these are 5, 16, 10, 12 terminals. And you want to you wanna heat shrink it until you see the uh, glue and heat are coming out. Same way over here. Touch that one up a little bit. All right. So we've got a good connection. I'm going to let that cool down. Then we're going to hook to the battery, battery terminals. Neg the positive and the negative. All right. I right, saw so I'm not gonna. That's kind of a. I might take a be a wild process. So I'm gonna. I'll let you see after we're done. All right. You gotta take this battery strap off right here, off your battery, and where well, I can get to everything. So y'all hang tight. Little pointer here, folks. I got everything. All my connections made up. Here's my Anderson power pole connector, 30 amp. My, here's my black, and here's my positive. And this is my, uh, right here is my bat, where my battery tender goes into. So I keep the batteries charged in the one time when, without long periods of use. Here's my negative, and here's my positive. Here's a seven and a half amp fuse in that. For the Delt Tran, Tran Charger Plus. All right, and that's my power pole. A little trick, take a little piece of aeration tubing or vacuum hose, and you can stick down in there uh, right there is some whoo right down through there it's a piece of heat shrink I mean a piece of um, aeration hose or vacuum hose and in the hole right here to keep the terminals up from square nuts and over here you can see I got a piece of split in half a piece of uh, hose to go in, in that hole right there to keep the square nut up when you're doing them ATV connections for your batteries. Just a little word of advice. Helps out a lot, man, because those are things that can be a bear. A bear a lot of times. So we're going to cover this up. And we're done. i got to make the other connections. And I'll put my connectors to it so we're going to need juice, hopefully. All right. So that's it for that. I gotta put the battery strap back on. That goes right here, in between there. I'm just gotta stretch that over and it's a little clip that goes on to. That over now. All right. Get that over with. And it keeps the wires all nice and tidy. Just gotta stretch and stretch.
And there it is. Holds the battery in place and the wires. Now, like I said, here's our connection here for our uh, battery tender. That'll be underneath the seat, I mean, underneath the, uh, the rack bag. All right. Okay, hang tight and we'll, we'll, we'll see what else we got. Okay, folks. Now we got our uh, the power pole running out the connector, the battery charging, uh, or jump start with the uh, one of them quick start deals, like a NOCO or a Schumacher, uh, Schumacher, uh, called jump start, you know, lithium ion jump start. And get you out of a bind. I got a recoil starter on this, but if the battery is way dead, it's not going to be good enough. So, anyway, just another safety precaution to have. Now we're going to check the voltage on this power pole connector. Volts. We'll check, we'll check to see if we got a good connection. All right. I'll see that. Positive. Negative. All right, we got twelve point six zero, twelve six one. That's not bad at all. It's right at a fully charged battery. Twelve point seven is like the perfect. Okay, I'm gonna hook that. battery is uh this is going on it's a 2014 model so you gotta figure the battery is and this you just take the power pole connection right here if we want to jump start and what I'll do I'll just wrap this up and put it back in the battery box when I'm done but just I okay, hook that power pole connection up like that see how we got it right there and we got about a six foot run right here. And I put some ring terminals on this. Oops. <laughs> Y'all saw that it got fire. Okay, that way I can hook my uh, battery terminals up to my, um, to make a, a jump start. So let's check our voltages on this. Let's see what we got. Uh, we already know we got a connection because we saw fire. But that's not the proper way to do it. Okay. Okay, we got 12.51 volts. Let's see if we get a better connection. 12.52. Let's go into the wire. 12.53. So you lose a little bit of voltage on that long. 12.53, 12.54. So not bad. Not bad at all. So we lost points, point six is what we lost. All right, so that's not bad, that'll, that'll, that'll do the job. All right, we'll disconnect these power pole connections right here, let's say it's good for 30 amps. So unplug it like that, bam, got a good connection. All right, so there we go. That's it. I'm gonna put my back clean up all my stuff and put my battery box back on, but this will get the job done. Okay? And I'll show you some other things here. And I'll just wrap this up and put it in my in my, my bag as so. And I made uh uh connections. I made some little boots that I put over that for safety. So, we no way anything can get inside there. It's made out of heat shrink. But what I'll do, I'll just wind this up. And so, she's in there. When I need it, I got it. So, uh, there we go. So we got it, got her where we want it. Okay.
But here, I'll show you our, uh, show you our, before we put the battery bag and everything back on, I'll show the charger again. It's, uh, everything's hooked up, easy to access. I want because I'm gonna have my bag on here. Then we got our Delta and Battery Charger Plus. And that hooks right into um, this cable, and it's automatic. 12 volt at 1.25 amps. So, and there's a plug right there. And it goes right in that little spot right here. Okay? And it's pretty simple. It's out of the way. And tuck it underneath it here. Once I get my battery bag on, no problems. All right. And the recoil starter, that's over here. In case I need it. But you can't be, you can't have, can't, there's no problem, no, it's, it's nothing wrong with having a backup or a backup. And my uh, Charger Plus is right here, fits right in my, my rack bag. Let me see here. Right here. There it is, Red Fuel. So anyway, folks, this is uh, Red Fuel. Charger, plus, charger uh, quick start. That'd be all you need when you're in the woods. And this is made for small cars, trucks, anything you want. It's good. It's good. It's a good thing to have. If, especially this newer electronic fuel injection of uh, ATVs. Uh, you know, if your battery goes, you're done. So just maybe a little something, something to help you get out of the woods. All right, there she is. It's all wrapped up, ready to go. Okay, folks, I just want to say thank y'all for watching. Got any questions or comments or anything you want, anything you got, just let me know. Hey, thanks for watching, and uh, give me a like and a share, and uh, please subscribe. Hey, y'all, thanks for watching. Got any questions about um, your battery, um, trickle charge your battery, or for your ATV? Or want to start in the woods with one of the quick chargers. Hey, that's what you, that's a good thing to have. Nothing nothing wrong with having a backup for a backup. All right, folks. Y'all have a good one, y'all. You can do the same thing with a snowmobile or whatever you got. Watercraft. All right, now y'all take care. All right, bye bye.